Example number 3. An outlet has 20 similar gadgets. Three of them are defective. If a customer makes a random purchase of two of these gadgets, find the probability distribution for the number of defectives. So we should observe the type of this problem. Since magkakaroon tayo ng selection dito, a few items from the total number of items, we will apply combinatorial principle here. And again, before finding the values of random variable x and before creating the probability distribution, kailangan alam muna natin yung sample space. And since madaming combination ng sample space dito, alamin na lang natin kung ilan yung total number of sample space. For sample space, since pipili tayo ng dalawa or yung customer ay pipili ng dalawa out of the 20 similar gadgets and without order, gagamitan natin ito ng principle ng combination and we will use the formula of combination. Formula for combination, we have n is equal to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r quantity factorial. Ang n natin is 20, ang r natin is 2 only, times 20 minus 2 quantity factorial. Ang total number of sample points natin, sample space, ay equal to 190 sample points sa sample space natin. Since ang re-represent ng random variable x natin ay yung number of defectives and pipili lang tayo ng dalawa out of 20, therefore, the values ng x natin can only be either 0 or walang mapipili. Pwede ring 1, isa lang ang mapipili out of 2 or pwede ring dalawa ang mapipili. So, ang x natin is equal to 0, 1, and 2. And for the probability distribution, ito ang ating table. It is 0, 1, and 2. For f of 0, or we can write this as a probability of the random variable value na 0. To find the probability, ang total number natin na sample points ay 190. Since dun sa 20 similar gadgets natin, tatlo lang yung defective. And sa f of 0, meaning 0, wala tayong mapipili na defective. Dalawang selection na pipiliin natin and puro 0, we have again, combination pa din. This is 3. C, 0 ang mapipili out of the 3 defective gadgets and the rest, meron pa tayong 17 na hindi defective. This is 17 C 2. Dalawang selection ang gagamitin natin dito. Wala tayong mapipili from the defective Ibig sabihin, yung dalawa ay mapipili natin dun sa hindi defective na gadget. So, eto yun. So, f of 0 now is equal to 68 over 95. This is f of 0. Lagay na natin dito. For f of 1, isa ang mapipili from the defective but yung isa naman ay mapipili dun sa hindi defective na natitira. We can rewrite this as probability of x equal to 1. So, ang total number ng sample points natin ay 190 pa din. Ang mapipili sa defective na 3 ay isa. Sa hindi defective ay isa din. And by calculating, f of 1 is equal to 51 over 190. So, this is our probability for 1. Lalagay na natin dito. 51 over 190. And lastly, for the probability of Random variable natin na 2, we have f of 2, this is equal to, dalawa ang mapipili, sa defective, so this is 3, c2, combination principle pa din tayo, and 17, c0, walang mapipili sa hindi defective. So, mapapansin natin, pinagmumultiply ulit natin, we will, pinagmumultiply pa din natin, kasi, Sa selection, dalawa ang pipiliin natin. Hin gagamitan pa rin natin siya nung principle ng end at saka or. Hindi naman sinabing pipili ng gadget or a gadget. Ang gagawin dito is dalawang selection, gadget and a gadget. So, this is over 190 pa din. Probability of the random variable value na 2 natin is equal to 3 over 190. So, itong 3C0 na yan, Ito yung ating formula dyan. Idinerect na lang sa calculator. Lagay na natin dito sa table natin. We have 3 over 190. And ito na ngayon yung ating probability distribution for this experiment. 
And again, sa probability, distribu probability distribution, na-satisfy pa rin natin yung dalawang requirement. Yung una, na yung probability sa bawat random variable value natin ay hindi lalampas ang 1 at hindi bababa ng 0. And pag pinag-add mo itong tatlong probability na to, ay equal to 1. So this is example number 3. Example number 4, suppose the storage contains 10 circuit boards of which 6 come from line A and 4 from line B. An inspector selects two of these identical appearing boards for inspection. Let X be the number of inspected boards from line A. Find the probability distribution for X. Yung experiment natin dito ay consists of two selections, each of which can result in two outcomes. Pwede manggaling sa line A and pwede manggaling sa line B. So first, we need to create a sample space for this experiment. Using three diagram, we have two selections. So sa first selection natin, pwede from A or line B. And then for second selection, pwede from A ulit. Kung B ang mapipili, pwede next is A or B. Therefore, yung ating sample space from AA, AB, BA, BB. So this is our sample space now. We have AA, AB, BA, and BB. Since we have two selections, gagamitan ulit natin ito ng multiplication rule. Yung probability ng second selection depends on what happened on the first selection. Start tayo sa first selection. Ang probability na mapipili ang A, since we have 6 from A and 4 sa B, and we have a total of circuit boards na 10. Ang probability na mapipili si A, 6 over 10. Ang probability naman na mapipili si B is, we have 4, ito yan, 4 over 10. As I have said, yung probability na second selection ay nakadepende sa first selection since walang replacement pag pumili. Say for example, napili natin si A, ito yan, and we have the probability 6 over 10. Ang probability na lang na mapipili si A, since without replacement, nabawasan na yung total natin. Ang total na lang ito is 9 na lang. And ang probability again na mapipili si A is 5 na lang. Dahil napili na yung isa, Dito. So we have the probability for A at second selection na 5 over 9. For probability na B naman, ito, nabawasan na ating total number, we have 9 na lang dito. And 4 pa din from B, ito siya. Since ang unang napili natin ay A, sa B wala pang napipili. And for example, ito ang ating sample point na tinutukoy, 6 over 10 dito sa A. And sa B naman is 4 over 9. 4 pa din kasi hindi naman nabawasan sa first selection natin yung line B. Dito naman tayo sa third sample point natin. Ang unang napili is B. Dito na tayo. And for the second selection, we have for A. And the probability for A, 9 na lang ang total natin. And since B yung unang napili, hindi nabawasan yung 6 from line A. So this is 6 over 9. Lastly, for the last sample point natin sa sample point BB, we have 4 over 10, and pro probability B sa second selection natin, this is 9, and 3 na lang to. Dahil napili na dito yung unang selection from line B. Next, for the values of random variable. Ang nare-represent ng X natin ay yung number of inspected boards na manggagaling from line A. So, sa first sample point natin, ang B lang ng A is dalawa. Sa second sample point is isa. Sa third sample point, isa lang din. Sa last sample point natin, 0. Ang ating value sa random variable is equal to 0, 1, and 2. And itong probabilities natin na to, ito yung gagamitin natin na sa ilalagay natin sa probability distribution natin. This is our probability distribution. We have the values of random variable 0, 1, and 2. For the probability of the value of the random variable 0, we have eto yan. So, f of 0, say the probability of BB. Ang probability of BB is equal to B times B. Since again, gagamitin natin siya ng multiplication rule yung principle ng and or or. And this is B and B. We have 4 over 10 
times 3 over 9. Ang f of 0 natin is equal to 12 over 90. So, 12 over 90 ang lalagay natin dito. For f of 1, we have the probability of a, b or b, a. And since dalawa, kukunin natin probability for a, b and i-add natin sa probability ng b, a since we have or here. So, f1 is equal to probability ng a, b plus probability ng b, a. And this is equal to f1 is equal to probability ng a, b. We have 6 over 10 times ang b natin is 4 over 9 plus the probability ng b natin dito yan 4 over 10 times probability ng a we have 6 over 9 f1 natin is equal to 48 over 90 yan ang lalagay natin for f of 1 48 48 over 90. For f of 2 naman, dito lang natin ilagay, we have the probability of a and a. f of 2 is equal to, ang a natin is 6 over 10. 6 over 10 times another a, we have 5 over 9 na lang. f of 2 is equal to 30 over 90. So, we have 30 over 90 here. And now, ang ating probability distribution for example number 4 experiment is ito. Pwede pa nating i-simplify. 12 over 90 is also, is also equal to 2 over 15. And yung 48 over 90 is also equal to 8 over 15. 30 over 90 is also equal to 1 over 3. Again, na-satisfy ulit natin yung dalawang requirements natin dito. Number one requirement, bawat probability for each random variable value, nagre-range lang siya from 0 to 1. And ang total ng lahat ng probability natin for probability distribution is equal to 1. So this is example number 4. <laughs>